Today, I'm gonna to teach you everything you need to know about how to crop video in Premiere Pro. Hey, thanks for checking out Video Editing with Tyler White. I'm Tyler White, and I've been a video editor for about eight years, so if you're looking to increase your skills editing video, tap the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video. All right, so once we've opened up Premiere Pro, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our footage and drop it down here into our timeline. Go up to the editing tab, and we'll go down here to where it says effects, and we're gonna type in crop. We're gonna grab crop, drop it over top of our footage, scroll down here to the bottom, where you can see crop is. And as you can see, we can drag this over to the left, drag it from the right, and we can drag it from the bottom. We can also drag it from the top, and we can also feather the edges as well, if that's something that you like. Um, but what I wanna do in order to crop the photo is I'm just gonna click on zoom, and as you can see, my face no longer looks natural. It looks more like the photo wasn't zoomed in on, it was actually stretched. So in order to properly crop our photo, what I wanna do is I wanna scale this up. Bring this down a little bit. I can bring this over as well. Just bring this down. And as you can see, it no longer looks like my face was stretched. It looks like it was zoomed. The resolution's a little bit lower, but that's gonna happen regardless, unless you're shooting in, in 4K. Um, but that's gonna give you the desired effect that you want, it's just by scaling it up. So I recommend using scale for that effect. Go ahead and I'll show you this again with a different piece of media. We'll grab this uh, photo that I took in Japan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the editing tab. We're gonna make sure that we have the photo selected and we're just gonna scale this down bring it down about 30 yeah right there's fine about 32 and we can bring this down as well and as you can see I haven't lost any quality to my photo and I've cropped it just using the scale method so we'll go back we'll go over to the assembly tab and I'm gonna drop some the footage down in here I'm gonna put this photo over top and this is a, one of the instances where you would actually use the crop effect. So next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the editing tab. I'm gonna go down to effects, I'm gonna type in crop again. And I'm gonna drag it and put it on top of my photo. And what I wanna do next, I'm just gonna drag it over from the left. And about 30 is fine. And from the right we'll do it. About 18 is fine. And then I'm gonna go up and I'm just gonna scale this photo down a little bit. Say about 10. And that's gonna give us the desired effect that we want. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna discuss is aspect ratio. What does that mean? I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So what we'll do is we'll go up here to File, New, Sequence. And then we're gonna go over to Settings. We'll change this to DSLR. And then what we're gonna do is have a look down here at our frame size. So as you can see, this is a 16 by nine aspect ratio. What does that mean? 16 by nine aspect ratio is the standard aspect ratio for television, YouTube, your cell phone turned sideways. All standard video is in the 16 by nine aspect ratio. Why is this important? Because if you're not filming or you're not exporting your videos in a 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio it's not going to look the right size whenever you play it back on YouTube so what we want to do is make sure our frame size is 1920 by 1080 and that's going to give us that 16 by 9 aspect ratio let's say we're looking for that widescreen theater film effect I did a video on how to apply widescreen bars to your footage a little while ago I'll go ahead and link that up in the YouTube cards right now but this is going to be the way, if you're doing this for a professional film, I recommend doing this every single time. So what we'll do is we're gonna change this to 1920 by 803. And what that's going to do is gonna give us a 29 by nine aspect ratio. And what we'll do is we'll drag our footage down to the timeline and we're gonna press keep existing settings because if we don't, it's just gonna change it back to the original settings. We'll go up to editing, and then we're gonna click on our footage. Click over to effect controls, 
and we can position this down as well and as you can see this is wider and when we play it back you don't see the widescreen bars on the top and on the bottom but if I were to upload this video to YouTube it would have the black widescreen bars right here at the top and right down here at the bottom so that's how you get that widescreen effect so we'll go back we'll do file new sequence and next I'm going to show you how to get that desired effect or the desired aspect ratio for Instagram so all we're going to do is we're going to make the frame size we're going to make the horizontal frame size it's going to be 1080 and then the vertical frame size is going to be 1350 and what that's going to do is going to give us a 4 by 5 aspect ratio and we're just going to press OK and we can drag our footage down here we're going to press keep existing settings we'll go over to the editing tab click on our footage and then we'll just scale it up a little bit cropping our footage in nicely with that scale and then all we're going to do is we're going to go up to file export media and then all we're going to do we're going to, all we're going to do is click match source adjust our export settings as we see fit which I've also did a video on I'll go ahead and link that up in the YouTube cards right now and then we're just gonna press export as you can see there's numerous ways to crop video inside of Premiere Pro so if you have further questions let me know down in the comments and I'd be more than happy to help you out all right that's gonna do it for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned something new and if you have a quick sec if you could drop a like on the video because every little bit helps and don't forget to subscribe because I got more videos like this coming soon also, if there's specific tutorials that you would like to see, let me know down in the comment section and I'll check those out as well. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next video.